I want to talk to you a little bit about style and technique. Style is everything that happens before a player's front foot lands. Okay, if you have players that hitch, Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, David Ortiz, Josh Hamilton, or guys that hold their hands high, Albert Pujols, Carlos Gonzalez, Manny Ramirez used to hold his hands up high. Okay, those are all style issues. Technique happens from heel plant through contact to about the power V position. Once you reach the power V position, you can let go with one hand, you can hold on with two hands. Okay, doesn't matter to me. What the Epstein teaching system is going to do for you is it's going to force you into the proper positions. The proper positions that Babe Ruth got into, Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, and players of today like Mike Stanton, okay? So it's very important that style issues do not fix mechanics. Say you're a player that drops their barrel, has bad drag, or casts. If you say, hey, get your hands up higher, it's not gonna do anything. That player is gonna start with their hands up. As soon as they step, they're gonna do their old move again. We have to get in and fix the technique. Technique is only fixed through proper drill sequencing and muscle memory. And that's kind of what we're all about here. Once we get the mechanics, once we build those in, it's gonna take us anywhere from a thousand swings to maybe 3,000 swings, then you can start putting your own style around it. And I never like players to look like robots. So when we suggest style, do what's comfortable for you. Do you like to rock back and forth? Do you like to tap your shoulder with the bat? Do you like your hands up high? Do you like to cradle them in here? If we do our homework, and I'm gonna show you with some professional players here in a second, but if you do your homework, I don't care if you do a somersault from the on-deck circle, as long as your heel plant position looks like all those big leaguers. And that's the key to our system. We really have to build in the muscle memory of the proper mechanical moves before we can build in style. And if we do that correctly, your style will wrap around that perfect technique and you'll never have to worry about it again. I want to talk a little bit about style and technique. I have four players loaded in here. Uh, the top left is Baez for the Cubs. Top right is David Ortiz. I just made him right-handed so we could check everything out. Don't be freaked out by the left-handed catchers. Uh, on the bottom right is Carlos Gonzalez, and on the bottom left is Andrew McCutcheon. So we're going to see all kinds of different styles, and from the training you know that I take that style out. Um, the first few drills that we're going to do, and we put that bat against the neck, but um, the reason for that is, is to make it easier to get to our technique spot. Now technique happens, if we watch Carlos Gonzalez here, he's got a very big high leg kick, very high hands, and once he drops his heel, this is where technique starts. Okay, front heel lands, back heel doesn't spin back. You can see it's going to kind of roll to the inside. Okay, if we look at the front shoulder, the front shoulder is staying down, kind of on an angle like so. You can see the bat is pointed. The, uh, excuse me, the knob is going to be pointed back towards the catcher a little bit. This is our universal launch position. Okay, So how we get to this launch position is our style. Whether you do a somersault from the on-deck circle and land in this position, or whether you have a high leg kick like Cargo had, it really makes no difference to me as long as you get there on time. So again, we're going to look at style here and we're going to go through everybody. So here's Cargo. Again, high leg kick. His knees come together. His back elbow is up, 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 up. And then there's his launch position at heel plant. Now we're going to watch David Ortiz. Totally different. He's going to hitch down. Now I want you to watch his hands. So he's going to lift his knee up and back. Pretty big move there. Notice how he cocks the bat out and down. And then he's going to lift him back up to his heel plant position. Okay. Notice where his hands are. Right about the top of his shoulder, top of the armpit to the top of the shoulder. Notice where the bat is. The knob of the bat is facing back towards the catcher. We just don't want it facing vertically or forward there. Okay. But very, very similar. Notice his front hip is open, but most importantly, that front shoulder is staying down. Very, very important here. 
Okay, the front shoulder is down at heel plant. The back knee has come in. The weight is on the inside of the back foot. There's no squishing where you're going to have that heel go backwards. Now we're going to look at Baez. Big style here. Okay, this is about as big as it gets. And we've seen pretty big with Cargo. He's going to pull his knee up even higher. He's going to lift his back elbow up, drop his front shoulder. I really like that move with his shoulders. This is a big stride. This is a big move. Notice how high his back elbow and shoulder is. I'll have Bryce Harper kind of gets to that position. We're not going to hit from there. We've got to get all the way to toe touch and then to heel plant. So you can see at heel plant, again, more athletic with the legs, but notice where the hands end up. Why is he more athletic with the legs? Because he took a huge stride. Okay, that's a very big weight shift. But the key here is heel plant, back foot starts to release in. You can see his is more aggressive than somebody like Ortiz, whose back heel pops up, but it doesn't really pull in quite as far there. But again, notice how his back shoulder is still up, his front shoulder is still in. Okay, that's something you're going to want to look for on video. Now if we look at McCutcheon, we're going to see somebody who's a lot more basic. Okay, you can see his hands are a little bit lower than those guys to start. Not quite as low as Ortiz. Let's see where Ortiz went again. He got kind of down by his hip bone. Guys like Ruth, guys like Ted Williams, Jimmy Fox all got to that same position, and then they would pull the hands up to launch position. McCutcheon is probably going to have a little of that. His hands are down, and then he's going to pull them up to the same position, which is usually at the top of the shoulder. Okay, So that's where we're putting everyone. How you get to this position is going to be up to you and that's going to come in when we talk about stride and style. But in the very beginning we're going to try to take the style out and just focus on the technique portion. Getting to a good launch position. So as you can see with these different players, let's go ahead and look at different leg kicks. I'm going to bring McCutcheon to the highest point of his stride. I'm going to bring Baez to the highest point of his stride. We're going to bring Ortiz to the highest point of his stride and Cargo to the highest point of his stride. These are all very different positions. Okay? And you can see Ortiz and Cargo's leg looks the same, but their hands are in totally different positions. Baez and McCutcheon don't look anything alike, but they do look alike once we get to front foot plant. Okay, and that's what we're going to work on. We've got to make sure you look like all these players at front foot heel plant as well. And what I'm going to look for, most importantly, front shoulder down or lower than your back shoulder at heel plant. Back bicep still up. Okay, I don't want to see that back uh, elbow down in this. Whoops, that line didn't add up too well. Let's see if I can put a circle in here. Okay, I don't want that elbow to end up down here. I want it to stay behind the hands if possible. You can see the elbows behind the hands and all of these. We're not seeing that elbow underneath.